Welcome to our Fiber Developer Training. This is the first of a series of tutorial sessions covering the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School, held by Holger Klemt and Jason Chapman as part of the International Firebird Conference in 2007 in Hamburg, Germany. Firstly, we'll set up a sample database in order to have a database to play with. All the material we show here will be running over IB Expert. So, what you need to do first, if you don't already have it installed, is to download and install IB Expert. The trial or the personal edition is fully sufficient. You can download it from www.ibexpert.com. Then, we should set up the sample database. IB Expert has a demo database in it, found in the subdirectory DemoDB. In IB Expert, you can create a database interactively, or you can start off by running a script. And the script we're going to be issuing is this one, DB1 SQL. First of all, copy the DLL files from the IB Expert demo database subdirectory to the Firebird UDF directory, which you will find in the Firebird subdirectory UDF. UDFs are none other than language extensions to the Firebird SQL standard. They can be written in Delphi or C++. The function we need to use here in our demo database is called getRandom, which will be used to generate data randomly. Now we'll open IB Expert, open the Tools menu, Script Executive, or press Control and F12, and then right-click and load from file DB1 SQL. DB1 SQL is a script file which creates the new database with demo data. When the script file is opened, you can see the various areas. Now, as we're right at the beginning of the course, you are likely to encounter a number of new things here, which you may just have to ignore until the end. All you need to know for now is that this script is going to set up our database. You can see the creation of database objects, such as procedures, which are here initially left empty. Then a number of commands are executed. For example, reinsert, which is an IB expert command and not a fiber command, and which basically repeats the last command. In this case, insert into. So, now we'll run the script. The procedure contents are added at the end, and primary and foreign keys are specified, etc., etc. Well, that was the equivalent of a couple of weeks typing in a script and testing. The script has been executed, and we've got a connection in here that we've created. If we just take a look at the registration information, registering a database in IB Expert just tells IB Expert where it is. It's like a filing system. You formally tell IB Expert where the database can be found. So, now, this script has created a database with a table structure which imitates a simple DVD store. There are various database objects, including stored procedures. And now here I can connect up to that. What this has actually given us is a relatively empty database. Only the metadata has been created so far. You can see the data structure that is principally made up of classic tables. But at the moment, these tables are empty. So now we need to create and fill the database with test data. What a lot of people do when they write database systems is they start off with completely empty databases, which gives you a very artificial view of how the database is going to work and how your program is going to work. A problem with a lot of live databases is that they rapidly become extremely slow because the database wasn't tested with sufficient test data before releasing it. So it's always worth developing and testing your database with sufficient test data. And now we'll push some data into these tables. I'm going to run this procedure, in it all, with F9 to start. This calls a further four procedures. First of all, delete all, just in case any data exists, it is deleted. And then customers, products, and orders are generated. The data we're now generating is created from data in the temporary tables. 
the procedure takes the name and mixes them with a random zip code to create a realistic database. I add the parameter 10,000 here. That is the number of data sets I wish to create. This generates 10,000 customers, 10,000 products, and 20,000 orders, with approximately 60,000 order positions. Altogether, around 800,000 operations are executed to fill this simple database with data ideal for performance comparisons. For example, on my laptop, this data generation took around 60 seconds with Firebird 1.0, about 50 seconds with Firebird 1.5, and approximately 30 seconds with Firebird 2. That's around 26,000 operations a second, and that on a laptop. If you'd performed this batch process using a client language such as Delphi or C++, you'd be lucky to achieve 3,000 operations a second. You can see here in IB Expert that on the orders table alone, there were 80,222 index reads, 20,000 inserts, and 20,000 updates. In Firebird, you need to explicitly commit any alterations for them to become effective. Any changes you don't want to be applied can be rolled back, similar to the popular Windows Control plus Z command. Non-committed transactions cannot be seen by any other user on the database. After reconnecting to the database, you can see the database size. This database is 25 megabytes. The empty database was 4 megabytes. If we now take a look at the customer table, we can see the data. All these customers have purchased DVDs, which we can see in the product table. The first DVD is always Spartacus Shakespeare clones. This is because the get random function used for the data generation isn't really that random, as it always generates the same random data which is a particular advantage if you wish to carry out comparative performance tests. For purely random data, the init random UDF can be used. Now you have your sample database ready to use, and we'd like to continue with the next session, SQL Basics Part 1, which will demonstrate some simple select functions and parameters performed on this database. You can also refer to the IB Expert online documentation, Firebird Development Using IB Expert, which you will find at www.ibexpert.com. Goodbye for now from all of us at IB Expert.